Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be making this milkshake ad. Other project files are going to be on my Gumroad page, Patreon and my YouTube membership page. All links are in the description. Let's uh, jump in and uh, start by looking at how I set up the lighting and then we can jump into the time lapse uh, of showing you how I made the entire process. When I'm working on uh, my lighting, let me first disable uh, the current lights I have. I also have this uh, backdrop uh, that is simply a translucent material uh, with a point light behind to give me that nice gradient and I can either change this color here to give me a different material. Let me just create a new object uh, like a cube and uh, add a new material called this override mat and uh, if you're using cycles you have to go to the view layer and uh, you can select the override material you have ju just created and uh, that will be applied on all the objects you have so if i bring back my original lighting you can see that uh, now everything has that single material i can change the color of this uh, so that you can look at that uh, that's how it looks uh, so yeah this and i'm going to turn off all the lights so that I can set up all the lights from scratch. I usually like to separate my main object from the background by adding some rim lights so that I use uh, an area light like this. Bring it to the back like that and you can see we are starting to see that separation and uh, so I'm just going to scale it up and make it more rectangular so let's change that and uh, so I can make it a bit taller and I wanted to just outline the silhouette of uh, my objects maybe something like uh, 500 have it on the other side as well uh, so that we can see the silhouette i also want a highlight above here so that we have a nice a nice separation be between the topping and uh, and the background so i'm going to duplicate this as well yeah so that i can capture all that detail something like that maybe let me reduce the angle spray to something like 90 so that it doesn't spray too much so that's the separation and you can see all our shapes are really now well defined. I can bring in another light to just fill in uh, the front. That's too much. Uh, so I'm going to bring this to about 100. And uh, another thing I usually want is to capture the reflections uh, very well. So I can go back to my material override. I turn this into metallic and uh, reduce the roughness. So that I can look at some of the reflections we're going to have. We don't have to make it metallic, we can just make it black and uh, I want an, a nice harsh reflection about here. So I'm just going to try and force that, that reflection by just adding a light directly there. Maybe scale it so that we have a nice reflection. Yeah, something like that. You can amplify it by just giving it, making it very bright. Or changing the spread a bit now i can go back to view layer and just remove uh, the material override and you can see what we have now select all my lights uh, add them into a collection called light 2 you can compare this to my original lighting you can see since i follow nearly the same steps uh my lighting looks a bit identical now i can bring in my backlight backdrop and uh, you can see what we have so that was the lighting. Let's go to the materials and let's just look at this. So you can see the milkshake itself is uh, not that complicated. I'm using a noise texture uh, that is simply using the object coordinates and uh, I'm using the color ramp. Uh, and I've distorted the noise a bit. And uh, I think there is, this is a new setting in Blender 4.0. We have this lacunarity setting adds a bit of distortion as well. But uh, it's not necessary uh, if you're using the distortion. Uh, so uh, then I added some contrast and then colored the contents to get something like that. You can see to get that smear effect. Then I added a particle system to have these details. Then the next thing I did, if you want to make this top part, you can start with a, a circle, a circle mesh. You can use about 16 vertices and uh, go and select one vertex skipping out another I like that make a selection like that and then scale this in to make something like a star uh, then extrude up like this add a few subdivisions uh, then turn on proportional editing select the top part turn on proportional editing like that make sure you have connected turned on and I just scale this in like that 
hit R to Z and rotate in the Z axis like that. So we have something like that. Now you can squish this down a bit, add a subdivision surface like that. So you have something like that. You might even want to push it down even further like that. So we have something like this. Now maybe close this out using F uh, to have something like that. So this is too clean. So all you have to do then is uh, just, just apply the subdivision surface and uh, then come in here and start selecting these sharp edges like that. Uh, we don't want this to be this clean. We want them to be more organic like that. So all you have to do is after you make the selection, go to the vertex group, create a new vertex group, assign a selection like that. And uh, we can go to object to weight paint. I look at that. It's still too clean. So we can go to weights, smooth and smoothen uh, those weights. I can increase the factor the iterations and uh, expand uh, your selection a bit just like that now we can go to object you can go back to object mode and give this a displacement modifier with a new cloud texture i have to change the vertex groups to the vertex group we have just created and uh, instead of using normal direction you just use the z direction so that these are displaced in the z direction uh, the strength is a bit too much so we can uh, bring that down a bit so you can already see the patterns we have uh, if you want you can even add another subdivision surface above the displacement uh, so you get a little bit more detail like that now the, the other thing you have to do is just use the same material that we created uh, we can also add the same leaves here uh, just to show you how i did that i just use a new particle system here change the render from path to object and I use a leaf object to create a leaf object like this. Uh, you have to play around with the scale, randomization, and uh, turn on advanced. Make sure the distribution is set to random as well. The rotation orientation should uh, be randomization, randomize, randomize everything. So we have something like that. Uh, this water material, I think I, I showed how to do it in, in a previous video. It's just, uh, I, I just modeled this using sculpting. I'll show that in the time lapse. Uh, everything else is just placing things and then rendering the animation to see that the cap material is also nothing too complicated. Actually, you can add in more roughness to make it look more, more plastic. Yeah, if you want to make it more plastic, you just add some bit of roughness, just increase the roughness a bit. Yeah, let's dump into the time lapse. I'll just do a voiceover over the time lapse as we go. Thank you. 